2016 was a big year for women's news around the world. Millions took part in more than 50 protests highlighting women's issues. On June the 3rd, a year after the murder of a 14-year-old pregnant girl in Argentina, tens of thousands took to the streets to protest about violence against women. More than 25,000 women took part in protests against a proposed total ban on abortion in Poland, while millions participated online. On October 26, women in Iceland walked out of work early at 2.38 to highlight the gender pay gap. In Nigeria, the release of 21 of the girls abducted from a school in Chibok by Boko Haram kept the Bring Back Our Girls hashtag campaign alive. This mass mobilization of women is happening for a number of reasons. One, I think it's because we're seeing a rise of conservatism. But I also think that we're also seeing women harnessing the media, including social media, and they're able to connect in new ways that we've never before seen. We need to see more space opening up in the media to talk about issues that don't necessarily get a lot of news coverage. So I think features, commentary, these are great spaces where um, different people can raise issues which haven't necessarily been given a lot of attention. And that's why this BBC 100 Women's season explores women's stories, including those of defiance, everyday street harassment and whether the internet is sexist. Look out for our list of 100 inspirational global women and their extraordinary lives, experiences and achievements. 100 women, half the world speaks.